Right. Hello, everyone. Happy Asian American uh, Pacific Islander uh, Month. Uh, my name is Yoshi Domoto uh, with the Japan America Society of Georgia, and I'm so thrilled to have so many people with us today uh, to celebrate Japanese cuisine and um, uh, learn about some of our favorite Japanese dishes uh, and uh, how everything is made. Um, but uh, we'll do a, a watch party featuring uh, many of our favorite dishes. But we're going to go um, uh, opposite from our normal way of doing, uh, I guess, a regular meal. But we're going to go with dessert first, or maybe uh, this could be considered breakfast. But um, we would like to uh, introduce our, our member, proud member of the Japan American Society. Uh, without further ado, please let me introduce uh, Mr. Esteban Tan. Uh, and Dia-san from Beard's Papa in Petrie Corners. Hello. Hello. How are you, everyone? Thank, Thank you, you so much for you. joining us. We're really looking forward to kind of learning how you make your uh, famous uh, cream puffs. Um, and I'm actually also here today with the festival manager of Japan Fest, Ms. Kazuko Liddy. Hello, Kazuko-san. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, without further ado, let, let's jump right into our program. Um, but uh, Esteban and Diasan, um, if uh, we can kind of ask you a few questions about you and um, the store. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Esteban, uh, and then how you started Beards Papa uh, here in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, am, I was born in Argentina, in South America. Pretty unusual. Uh, but to Taiwanese parents, and uh, we moved here to Atlanta in 2003. And um, you know, I always had a had the dream of of being an entrepreneur, a business owner. So um, when the when we saw this um, opportunity come up, you know, I thought that it was a great idea to to try and introduce something new that we didn't have here in Atlanta or more specifically in the Southeast. So, you know, after a lot of hard work and, uh, and dedication for, for quite a while, uh, got together with two partners and uh, we were able to, to get it done and, uh, and had this, uh, the world's famous cream house, you know, here in, in our own backyard pretty much. Great. Well, we're so excited that you're here, and I understand uh, you just celebrated a one-year anniversary, so a happy anniversary and happy birthday to Baird Papa. Thank uh, you, guys. Three Corners. Uh, and now, uh, Rie-san. Uh, so, rie -san, uh, so we'll do your uh, interview part in Japanese, but Rie-san will do the interview part in Japanese, but Rie-san will do the interview part in Japanese, but Rie-san will do the interview part in Japanese, but Rie-san will do the interview で、私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は
uh, in Japan uh, in 1999, and how did it become such a big global phenomenon today? Yeah, so um, sure. Um, so in Beer Papas, you know, we just we specialize in the world's uh, best cream pubs, the world famous cream pubs. You know, uh, everything is uh, freshly baked um, with uh, custard cream that is um, we make from freshly from scratch in house with all natural ingredients, and then we have a selection of different shells that um, uh, they are pumped. They are filled with uh, custard cream to order, meaning we wait for the customer to pick the shell and the filling, and then uh, we pump them uh, at the at the moment to maximize freshness and crunchiness. Yeah. Wow, and then. Um so Beards Papa is um, global now too, right? It's not just in Japan, but it's um, uh, yes, yeah. So it started, it started in 1999 in Osaka, Japan, but they they have expanded now to about 400 stores worldwide in 15 different countries. Wow, that, that's that's wonderful. Maria, uh, mm -hmm. back to you. Eto Maria, san mo eto ma ne nihon jin de nihon kara kita.思いますが、えっと、ま、ビアードパパはどうやってあの、ま、大阪であの、ま、小さいベーカリーとして始まって、あの、ま、グローバル的なえ、お店になったかちょっとあの、少しあの、ご説明できますか。ビアードパパのビ
、えー、とシュークリーム以外のデザートだとチーズケーキとチョコレートフォンダンがあります、はい、で一番うちのお店で人気な商品はオリジナルのシュー生地に中がバニラカスタードクリームとあとはチョコレートエクレアの生地に中がバニラカスタードクリームが一番人気ですはい、あ,ありがとうございます All right, Esteban,、uh, back to you.、Um, uh, so, one of our、um, questions that we have from the audience、uh, So, what's the future of Beard Papas?、Uh, you have new flavors coming in, new menu items. Are you going to have a food truck? Can you、uh, talk about maybe、uh, some of the, the things that, you,、uh, that we can look forward to in the future? Yeah, so、um, we're going we're gonna to take food truck out of the question. That's, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> But,、uh, Uh, flavors, yes,、uh, we are constantly you know, in contact with, with our corporate office、uh, to, to know, to try to find out uh, every uh, new、uh, shell or new feeling that they are testing and trying out. So、um, we, we are going to be introducing、uh, quite a few new items、uh, starting, starting next week, actually, June 1st.、Uh, we're going to have a mango feeling. And then、uh, we're going to have、uh, a new、uh, shell that we can try for the eclairs that is going to be、um, similar to the cookies and cream, but we are, Beer Papas is partnering up with、uh, Nila Wafers,、uh, the cookies. So it's going to be a work on, it's going to be a, a shell that, has, that contains the Nila Wafers on, on the top. So it should taste,、um, it should taste pretty good. Yeah, and,、uh, and we're going to have,、um, again, we're going to have new flavors、uh, every, every month coming up. Wow, that, that sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry already, and it's not even lunchtime yet. So, Maria さん、あの今さっきエステバンさんは、えっとまあ、フードトラックはやらないと言ってますけど、あのまあ、将来、ビアルパパはどういうものをあの販売することになりますか今アメリカのビアドパーパー企業が発表している6月の新作はニラウェーハニラウェーハというクッキー味のシュー生地とマンゴークリームのカスタードクリームが追加される予定です。毎月新作の味のクリームが追加されるので、それを楽しみに来られるお客様になります。ありがとうございます。ウエストバン、final question、um,。So... Um, so, where, where can we find you?、Um, can you tell us、uh, how we can get in touch with you? Maybe your website, phone number,、um, your location, and then do you have any special offers for, for our viewers today? Yes, so、uh, we are located、uh, in Peachtree Corners.、Um, I don't know if everybody is familiar with、uh, the Forum Mall.、Uh, we are right across the street from it.、Um, and we are located inside the, the new town center that they built、uh, here in, in North. If Pistry Corners it used to be、uh, North Cross,、uh, it's on, on Pistry Parkway.、Um, we have a beautiful、uh, town green here that、um, if we didn't have this whole、uh, COVID 19 situation、uh, over the weekend, they would have like、uh, free concerts and stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely a great place to come hang out with the family and enjoy、um, dinners around. Uh, the many restaurants that we have, us neighbors, and then a good dessert with us. Great, thank you. And then、um, for, for the people who may not be、um, uh, you know, still dining in,、um, do, you, do you have、uh, kind of pickup or curbside pickup options, also delivery as well? Yes, yes at the moment, currently we have,、uh, we are doing takeout. You guys are、uh, more than welcome to come into the store and,、uh, and place an order. Uh, we'll, we'll show you guys our, our little setup to keep our employees and, and customers safe、uh, in a little bit.、Uh, but we are、uh, practicing social distancing,、uh, and everybody, all of our employees, will be wearing masks and,、uh, and gloves to handle、uh, the pro our products and our doors and everything. They're going to be wiped down and disinfected um, uh, constantly throughout the day. And、uh, yeah, uh, as I mentioned, we do.、Um, Offer a curbside pickup in which、uh, you can just call us,、uh, place an order, we will take、uh, a payment over the phone, and then we will bring it out to your car so you don't even have to come out of the car or anything like that.、Uh, we do offer delivery through our partners.、Uh, we are on Postmates,、uh, DoorDash, and GrabHub. 
and we do offer catering uh, through our partner Easy Cater. Great, thank you very much. えっ、ー、とリアさん、あの簡単にあのお問い合わせとえっ、ー、と連絡先を教えてくれますか。はい。えっと私たちの公式アカウントが、えー、Facebook と Instagram の方から P3 コーナーズ PC で検索していただけるとご覧いただけますので、最新情報はそちらからご覧いただけます。あと今コロナウイルスの影響で店内でのお食事はちょっとご遠慮させていただいているんですが、お持ち帰り限定での販売はしておりますので。あとはカーブサイドピックアップもありますのでお客様が車内からご注文いただくと担当のスタッフがお客様のもとまで商品をお届けいたします。他にもデリバリーサービスはグラブハブ、ドアダッシュ、ポストメイトからご利用いただけます。他には EG ケーターのケータリングサービスも行っております。はい。どうもありがとうございます。Well, um, well, Esteban and Dia さん、um... Without further ado, we do have a, a couple questions from the audience, but、um, before、uh, we get into the QA session,、um, perhaps you can give us a, a, a tour of your store and then maybe a, a quick demo on how to make the famous cream puffs. Yeah, sure.、Uh, we'll start here on the outside. Let's see. So. Here is the front of our store.、Uh, let me see. Let's pull it. This so, Beer Pub Bus.、Uh, we are currently in the parking lot, but、um, to our right,、uh, we see our town, town green、um, that it gets filled with people and activities usually. <laughs> and、uh, so, let's go in. Come on, let's come on into the store. So, when you guys come in,、uh, we have a setup. So, the dining area is currently closed, but we are doing、uh, takeout only.、Uh, we have mark on the floor、uh, for our customers who、uh, keep a safe distance. And we actually set up an ordering table right here. So, customers will come up to this point, and our employees will be standing、um, by the POS, which is a good, you know.、Um, At least six feet apart、uh, to keep customers and employees、uh, safe. So, customers will pick from, will order from here, and we have a paying, paying device that it can be、uh, touchless. And we are trying not to take cash、uh, at this moment, just, to, just for safety reasons. And we have our menu, and we're going to have everything, most of our products in display here on, on our display case. And okay, so it will be、uh, employees only beyond this point. So once, once we prepare the order,、um, one of our employees will bring it out here and then we will leave it here at the table and then customers can safely pick it up and,、um, and be on their way. So, so usually, of course,、um, with if no coronavirus situation,、um, All these tables, we will have the chairs and everything, and、uh, people can sit and, and hang out and have a good time. And then people are welcome to come here, which is our pumping station.、Um, here they will be able to see us、uh, freshly pumping the custard cream inside the, inside the cream pops. Yeah, we're getting ready to open、uh, today here in a few hours. These are just、uh, the fresh cream pops that they just came out of the oven and they're cooling down right now. So, I think、um, we can do,、uh, Leah will do a quick demonstration、uh, now about how we pump、uh, the original vanilla. Yeah. I'm going to actually stand on the outside. And Esteban, this is all state of the art equipment, brand new and、um, specific. Yeah, everything, everything is in cream puffs, right? Yeah, yeah even, even the pumps, everything that we use, even the yellow trays here, they, they are imported from Japan. Wow, so you make the cream puffs here, but all the equipment are, are from Japan. That, that's, that's wonderful.、Mm -hmm. 
yeah, we don't get to choose, you know, what 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 kind of pump to use or or which one is cheaper or not. Like beer papas, they are very they're very strict with um, quality control, and we have to use um, what is what is recommended by them. Yeah, and they they do our corporate office. They do come uh, on a quarterly basis to to do an inspection usually to see to make sure that everybody's following protocol so i guess whether you have a cream puff in petri corners in georgia or uh if you have uh, cream puffs in kyobashi station in in osaka japan um it's all gonna taste pretty much the same right yes yeah i would like to think so yeah that everybody is, is following protocol so um here we have uh our ovens again um ovens that are um require by corporate office uh, and then uh, here we're actually uh, baking the mini cream puffs now um, so minis they are great for uh, for meetings you know um, to take to work uh, and then they are just bite size and then um, something a little bit different than than our regular ones that some people you know they, they tend to be a little bit on the on the bigger side And here we are baking our famous uh, crispy almonds. How long do you usually have to bake, um, uh, put them in the oven to, to finish baking? Um, crispy almonds, they bake for about 30 minutes. And then the minis, they also do, do bake for about 30 minutes. And then we, we need about, once they come out of the oven, we need about 10 minutes for them to, to cool down a little bit because uh, we cannot pump the, the fresh custard cream um, while while the product is still hot because it's gonna it's gonna break the, the cream and it's gonna melt. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we can do it here. So um, we're gonna we're gonna grab some um, some of our chocolates and show you guys how how we hand dip our our eclairs. So we're gonna go with a with a chocolate one and a and a green tea one. So I guess as customers uh, you know, order their cream puffs, um, mm -hmm. you you get your um, you know finished um, kind of the, the shells and then. All of your kind of cream fillings are, I guess, done um, on site. Um, I guess uh, on site, yes. On time to, at, with each order, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna dip, um, hand dip. We all, all the eclairs we just hand dip them in in our in our chocolate um, mixtures. So on the right side here, we have the chocolate one. And then on the left side, we have the, the green tea, which is a white chocolate base. Wow, that looks so delicious. <laughs> Yeah, and then once once we dip them, uh, we put them in the fridge for the chocolate to settle, and then they're ready to go. They're ready to be filled with whatever um, custard cream uh, the customer wants. Can I give you guys one last quick thing? Uh, today we are actually doing custard today as well. So just so you guys can have a quick look. Um, this is uh, egg yolks and uh, the mixture with flour and everything uh, with vanilla bean. I don't know if you guys are able to see, but if uh, if anybody comes in and they order the uh, the original vanilla filling, um, take a look at the at the at the filling. You can actually see um, little black dots, like specks. That is actually fresh vanilla bean. Uh, we don't use vanilla extra on our product. So we just, we get the, the actual beans and then we have to scrape it one by one 
uh, and all, we put all the vanilla pods inside. And that's that's how our famous uh, vanilla custard cream comes out. Yeah, and then this is the custard machine that we use uh, to to make the whole process. Wow, that's that's so amazing to see uh, to see everything from the back end and um, how not only the shells are made but the actual cream. Um, yeah. So to all of our viewers, this, this is a really special opportunity, and um, uh, so I don't think you can uh, uh, kind of see how things are made like this uh, normally. So thank you so much for sharing. No, oh, no problem, guys. So, so Esteban, um, uh, we do have a couple questions from the audience, actually. Um, uh, and uh, the first one is, I guess, do you have any lactose-free uh, options? Uh, lactose-free, unfortunately, no. Um, yeah, I think, you know, everything, almost all of our products, they either, they either use uh, milk, butter, or heavy cream. Yeah, sorry about uh, I know it's hard milk. to make cream without lactose and without cream and milk, right? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, another question is um, Do you have uh, any gift cards for sale? We do. We actually we just got the gift cards uh, in, so we do have physical gift cards. That we just... uh, yeah, we got physical gift cards that we received uh, this week. So we are getting ready to, uh, to start selling that over over the weekend, and then we will make an announcement soon uh, that they are available. Uh, so we got physical ones, and then we're gonna have digital ones as well that we can just uh, send send to your to your email or or via text to your phone, and then um, you can just uh, it will be a lot easier for customers to to give out as a gift to friends or family. Um, yeah, so to to all our viewers, uh, most definitely um, think about getting a gift cards for for birthdays or for just gifts to to family members, friends. Um, and I think it's a, a great alternative to to ice cream. I think beers, papas, the, the cream puffs is even better. So uh, I'll definitely be uh, partaking in getting a gift card. Um, we have uh, some birthdays coming up, so I think there'll be a, a nice gift. Thank you guys. Yeah, we appreciate everybody's support, especially during these this trying times. That you know, it's a first for for everyone. I think uh, nobody nobody has been in this situation, so we are all trying to work it out as we go and, and trying to make it make it happen. Yeah, most definitely, we're all in this together. So let, let's uh, continue to support all of our Japanese restaurants, including Bears Papa, uh, and then Kazuko San. You have a, a question for Ria San. Uh, you're, you're on mute, so go ahead. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, Esteban and uh, Ria-san, um, before uh, we let you go, I know you are busy and you have to open up your store for your customers very soon. Uh, but uh, I guess one more time, if you can let our viewers know uh, how we uh, can learn more about Beards Papa, um, I will share our screen with your website on it, but um, kind of let us know um, how we can get in touch with you, how, how we can enjoy your cream puffs. Uh, so Esteban in English and Ria-san, Nihongo de Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yeah, so let me show you guys uh, one quick thing. So if you guys can, um, oh. Oh. so if you guys can follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Beer Papa's PC, that will be our best. Uh, we we are there very regularly posting. Uh, Promotions, updates uh, to our services, uh, especially during this uh, coronavirus times, and then our updated um, uh, store hours, opening hours. Uh, if we if we're gonna change, uh, we're trying to go back soon to to our regular hours, uh, but we're still operating under 
uh, reduce hours at, at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, all the whenever we have a sale or famous uh, buy five get one free, or like we had on our anniversary a uh, buy four get one free, uh, we we always gonna post it a few days before uh, on our on our websites, on Instagram or fa and Facebook. Great, thank you very much. And then uh, again, for our viewers, you can go to uh, beardpapas.com. Uh, and then certainly there's a couple locations in Atlanta, uh, but the Petri Corners one, um, I highly recommend. Uh, so you'll see the website here, the address, phone number, um, and then uh, certainly the, the store hours. I know you guys are on a reduced time schedule, but hopefully we can go back to some form of normalcy soon. But uh, Esteban Iasan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being uh, a member of the Japan America Society of Georgia. Thank you for your support of Japan Fest as well. Uh, and we look forward to uh, continuing uh, collaborating together with many more projects and programs uh, in the future. So um, look forward to staying in touch. And everyone, uh, let's all uh, go to Beers Papas or order delivery or do some pickup service. Uh, and I think it would be a, a great way to maybe start off the weekend. So, so thank you very much, uh, Esteban and Iasan. And um, good luck today as you open up your store and um, uh, keep uh, making all your customers happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great day, everyone. You too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now that we got through breakfast uh, or dessert, uh, depending on, I guess, uh, your, your liking, uh, we're going to go uh, and enjoy uh, some Japanese uh, sushi, chirashi sushi. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, uh, we will be going to uh, Nakato Japanese Restaurant, which is actually the oldest Japanese restaurant uh, in Atlanta. Um, so, uh, without further ado, we will be going to, uh, from Petrie Corners to Buckhead, Atlanta. Good afternoon. My name is Sachi Nakato Takahara. My family owns and operates Nakato Japanese Restaurant here in Atlanta since 1972. Uh, we are honored to be a part of the Asian Heritage Month this year, and we would like to take this opportunity to thank our guests and community who has supported us for the past 48 years of business. So thank you so very much. Um, just a brief history on our restaurant. Uh, my grandmother immigrated into the States at the young age of 63, along with my mother and uncle, and started the restaurant in Atlanta in 1972. And uh, she landed in the perfect time for Atlanta where it was emerging onto the international platform with the efforts of then governor Jimmy Carter and alongside many Japanese companies that invested into Georgia, Nakano became part of the Southern community with its hospitality and providing traditional Japanese food and culture. Um, as we fast forward 48 years, I've been running the restaurant with my family, continuing my grandmother's legacy and Japanese heritage, and I hope I make her proud. Um, in the light of COVID, I've realized how blessed we are and wanted to reach out and thank the community and the guests who uh, support us every day. Uh, right now, we are focusing on curbside pickup from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day, so hopefully we'll get to see you there. And uh, we are in the process of getting the restaurant together to reopen uh, as soon as we are able, so we will keep you posted on our social media. Um, and uh, website, so please come back and support us uh, once we open. We look forward to seeing you. Um, without further ado, I am gonna give Chef Ikumi the spotlight uh, to show you how we make our Nakato Chirashi Zushi. So please enjoy and please be safe. Thank you. So I will be demonstrating how to make a Nakato style Chirashi Sushi. And while I do that, let me tell you about our experience during this pandemic. 
Um, it's been very difficult, but enjoyable at the same time. Um, a lot of differences, such as wearing masks, wearing gloves to keep not only ourselves, but our guests safe as well. Um, we also miss our guests coming here. Uh, definitely love to chat with our guests when they sit around the sushi bar. Um, but we still get to make our food uh, for our guests as creative as we do uh, through our takeout service. So please don't hesitate to get some takeout from us. Um, another thing is um, it's just a different atmosphere, but a lot of a lot of things are still the same. You know, um, we get our fresh we get our fresh fish from Japan um, overnight. That hasn't changed, so you will enjoy the freshest fish all the time, such as this one right here. It's called the madai. This one right here is the shimaaji. So all kinds of different fish we can provide. And some of this stuff is just decoration for the eel here, some wasabi and ginger, our last albacore tuna here, and voila. And I have here our Mikado style Chirashi sushi. Great. That was a Nakato Japanese restaurant uh, here in Buckhead, Atlanta. Uh, please visit uh, their website at www.nakatorestaurant.com uh, and enjoy. Uh, they both have a uh, traditional dining room where you can enjoy all of the traditional Japanese uh, cuisine. And also they do have the hibachi area where you can have teppanyaki and uh, get a show while you eat uh, delicious uh, a meal. So uh, Kazuko-san, um, Whenever uh, you had food from Nakato restaurant, um, how have you enjoyed it? What, what are some of your favorite uh, foods from Nakato? Um, <laughs> um, the usually um, I order for the just sushi because they have a real, like not imitation fish or anything. They are always fresh and um, always fresh. Uh, rice is great. so. I enjoy the nigiri sushi and uh, we saw the chirashi sushi also, but I never tried the teppanyaki, so I have to try next time. <laughs> yes, great. Well, once uh, it, it's it's safe to, to go out and uh, yeah. meal, uh, we should yeah. go out and uh, have a, uh, a day of Japanese food where maybe in the morning we can go to Beard Papa and then afterwards we can have dinner at Nakato, right? So. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Uh, but without further ado, we go, are going to our next restaurant. Um, we are going from north to south. So we started in Peachtree Corners at Beard Papa's. Uh, we just stopped off at Buckhead, uh, Atlanta for Nakato. And now we are going to Midtown uh, to go visit uh, Wagaya, uh, one of our uh, members as well. Uh, and we appreciate their support. Uh, so let's uh, go to Wagaya and we'll be learning about how to make um, uh, okonomiyaki, which is, uh, I know, one of your favorite dishes, uh, Kazuko-san, uh, you being from Kansai. and uh, yep. uh, You want to say something about okonomiyaki as I get the uh, video ready? Okonomiyaki, um, I think it's now getting popular because um, in Japan Fest, a couple of vendors has okonomiyaki always. And uh, it's a Japanese-style pancake. And um, it's a little bit different. Osaka and uh, Hiroshima is a different uh, type of okonomiyaki, Osaka, I'm from Osaka, and Ayoshi-san as well. And we mix all together eggs and um, 
flowers and topping, all the toppings all together mix and make the pancakes. But I think Hiroshima is, um, you make a flour first and uh, each toppings they piled up and they put the noodles and they flip over the pancakes. So it's not really, really same style Osaka and Hiroshima, but I like both. <laughs> That's right. And Okonomiyaki is like uh, American barbecue in that uh, every region in Japan, they fight over whose Okonomiyaki is the best. And just like here uh, in America, uh, you know, people always have a friendly competition about uh, whether Georgia barbecue is better, Texas barbecue, Kansas City barbecue, Tennessee, mm -hmm. Carolina barbecue, right? So Okonomiyaki is Japanese, I guess, uh, kind of a friendly uh, dish that we compete. But uh, uh, as we go to Wagaya, um, uh, we'll be learning about the the Osaka style. Okay, uh, that's good. <laughs> I'm a little biased, but my favorite, right? So, uh, but also Wagaya and actually, uh, which is kind of the parent company, uh, MGK Hospitality. Um, they they started Wagaya a few years ago, and they have uh, several locations in Atlanta. But they also just recently last year started a uh, upscale restaurant called Chirori. Uh, and since it is an upscale restaurant, they're not able to do um, kind of curbside pickup or takeout or delivery at the moment, but uh, a very kind of a unique and innovative concept. They changed their restaurant into a Japanese grocery store. So, so right now, um, uh, if you are looking for kind of fresh Japanese ingredients and grocery items, uh, you can also go to uh, Midtown and pick up some of your uh, favorite uh, Japanese goods uh, at Chirori, uh, which is right now a grocery uh, store. So, but without further ado, uh, we are going to go over to uh, Wagaya. Hey guys, my name is Takashi Otsuka. I'm the founder and CEO of MGK Hospitality. Here we are at Westside. This is my very first restaurant in Wagaya. And right next door, we have a Chirori, uh, opened up 2019. Uh, currently closed due to COVID-19, but we managed to open a Japanese grocery store right now. And today, I'm going to show you how to make okonomiyaki. Come on inside.
Great. So that was uh, Wagaya uh, and how to make okonomiyaki. So Kazuko-san, uh, what does okonomiyaki mean in Japanese? Eh, okonomiyaki means... Eh. Eh? <laughs> okonomi wa? Because you can put... Okonomi means like um, you like, right? So you, you like, right? Yeah. like you can put in, inside, I, I guess. But <laughs> I never and, saw that. <laughs> yeah. So, and yaki is to, to grill, right? So yes. basically, uh, the Japanese can- pancake that Kazuko-san was talking about, mm-hmm. you, you customize it however you like. So you can put in um, pork, you can put in beef, you can put mm-hmm. in chicken, shrimp. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you, you make it, the ingredients, however you like, uh, and then you grill it, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, so what are your, some of your favorite um, ingredients in okonomiyaki. I like cabbage and pork and green onions. And uh, this is a good way to the kids to eat because you put the vegetables, they don't realize with the sauce and uh, meat, so they eat. <laughs> so I, I, I feed them um, when they were little, they don't like vegetables. I mix together and um, I made okonomiyaki for them. Yeah. So that's right. So parents, if you're listening, uh, if you're <laughs> Eat vegetables on a normal basis. Okonomiyaki is the way to go and um, get them to eat their, their cabbage and other sorts of vegetables yes. you can put in there, right? Yep. Great. Uh, a secret from a successful mother. <laughs> um, and then, so yeah, so please visit uh, the Wagaya uh, restaurant. Uh, they do have two locations uh, in Midtown and also uh, in the Emory area as well. Uh, and then, like I said earlier, uh, Chidori right now is a, um, a Japanese grocery store. So please pick up all of your uh, wonderful grocery items uh, there. Uh, but uh, please visit www.wagaya.us to learn more about Wagaya. Uh, and then, so Kazuko-san, the okonomiyaki, can you make that at home? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I think um, now uh, Chidori is um, doing a grocery store. I think you can buy all the ingredients there. Maybe not meat, but um, I'm sure they have uh, okonomiyaki flowers and mayonnaise and the sauce. And also, they have a lot variety of the alcohol from Japan. So you can buy okonomiyaki uh, ingredients and you can shop Japanese stuff over there too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. It is, it is Friday, so uh, go, go pick up all your, your goodies and... Mm-hmm. Okonomiyaki tonight and uh, have some maybe sake and uh-huh. in, um, in, in Japan. Uh, TGIF is uh, Hanakin, right? So, yes. um, so enjoy your Hanakin tonight. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, so those were some of our member restaurants uh, that we are continuing to support. There are many other Japanese restaurants in, in Atlanta, in Georgia, and throughout the U.S. as well. So please continue to support all of your Japanese restaurants and stores. Um, but uh, to finish up our program today, um, we learned about how to make some Japanese dishes from uh, our expert chefs. Um, but uh, right now, we're going to learn about uh, kate ryori, uh, mm-hmm. or home cooking in Japan. So we'll learn about how to make uh, Japanese fried chicken and onigiri, which is uh, Japanese rice balls. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is uh, maybe something a little bit easier for people watching uh, at home. Uh, I know some of the items that, that, that we saw, uh, we may not be able to replicate at home uh, uh, for people like me who may not be as good at cooking, uh, but I'm learning. Uh, so, but uh, without further ado, we are going to uh, watch how to make karaage or Japanese fried chicken uh, and onigiri, which is uh, Japanese rice balls. <laughs>
So thank you to uh, Ms. Mana Shinozaki-san for showing us how to make uh, karaage or Japanese fried chicken uh, and onigiri, Japanese rice balls. So as you can see, uh, a lot of Japanese foods are complex, but some you can do right at home. So we definitely encourage you to, to do this at home. Kazuko-san, do you make karaage or uh, onigiri for your family? Yes, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, we use, uh, we put the uh, garlic for the karage, taste a little spice more. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, so yes, uh, so certainly um, as we celebrate uh, AAPI Asian American Pacific Islander uh, Heritage Month, um, uh, we certainly uh, have you all try uh, Japanese foods at home, but also continue supporting our our restaurants. Uh, and then also uh, you know, continue supporting uh, other Asian American organizations as well. Uh, the Japan America Society of Georgia, we are only one uh, organization uh, promoting U.S.-Japan relations, but there are so many others too. So, so wherever you are, whether you're in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, or anywhere in the world, uh, please support uh, your community organization, and profit organizations during these uh, difficult times as we all try to fight uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but uh, we are a little over time now. Uh, you know, we're kind of going into overtime. Uh, but um, before we finish up today's program, I want to thank uh, the City of Atlanta's uh, Mayor's Office uh, for International Affairs for helping uh, promote our program and uh, promoting Asian American Heritage Month. Uh, and then also the leadership from the State of Georgia Governor Kemp's office as well. Uh, we appreciate all the support uh, and the continued leadership, but from all of the different uh, mayors uh, throughout the state of Georgia and also at the state level as well. So, so thank you very much for all that you do during these uh, challenging times. Uh, we do have a number of upcoming events as well. Uh, certainly cooking is one way to bring people together, but we also have a lot happening with the Japan American Society. Uh, later today, uh, we do have a uh, ESL, uh, English language lesson for Japanese members. Uh, so uh, featuring Bigler ESL and um, Liz Sensei will be teaching us uh, some, uh, tricks to being able to speak English better uh, for all of our Japanese members. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, we do have a Netflix watch party of Miss Hokusai, uh, which is an animated uh, film uh, about of the famous artist Hokusai, the ukiyo-e uh, artist, uh, fascinating award-winning film. So definitely join us for that as well. Uh, also uh, coming up, uh, we do have a number of our business webinars uh, as well. Uh, and then uh, next weekend, uh, we do have a uh, Radio Taiso demonstration. Uh, so Radio Taiso in English is uh, radio exercising. So it's a guest way A little bit. Oh, I couldn't hear. Sorry. Do you remember doing Radio Taiso uh, growing up in Japan? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you can do that uh, here in the US. It's a class. Uh, the different uh, uh, Japan, including the Japan American Society. So uh, uh, the other Gen J uh, hosted uh, cities, uh, including Texas. Uh, and some in Ohio, Chicago, uh, throughout the U.S. too. So it's a collaborative of uh, Japanese as together. Uh, and then also on June 10th, we do have uh, our ongoing International Women's Series uh, program. We'll be learning about uh, strategic ways for all of us. Um, and like uh, to rethink, reimagine, uh, and reevaluate our futures. Uh, certainly, that'd be a, a great topic to kind of talk about uh, as we are going through the difficult times with our pandemic. So, so definitely join us for all of our upcoming programs. Uh, thank you again to Baird Papa, uh, to Nakato Japanese Restaurant. Uh, thank you to uh, Wagaya Japanese Restaurant in Chidori and MGK Hospitality. Uh, and also to our member Mana San for uh, all of the demos that we saw today. So. Uh, learn more about the Japan American Society at www.jasgeorgia.org. Again, jasgeorgia.org. Uh, and then also, uh, we do have a big announcement regarding Japan Fest, the largest Japanese festival in the Southeast. 
coming up uh, next week. So stay tuned. You can learn more about Japan Fest at www.japanfest.org. Kazuko san, any parting words, any words of wisdom, or、uh, any message you want to let people know before we, we end today? For Japan Fest?、Uh, for anything. <laughs> Um, can I? Well, I, I don't know. It looks like we have some technical difficulties. So,、um, but everyone, be safe, be happy,、uh, and stay well, be healthy. And、uh, we will see you again next time. Thank you again for joining us. And we'll see you at our next online virtual program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.